Now, to set up your audio, you go to options and you open the audio settings and this page will open. Now, here on audio, you must make sure that on your device, you select your audio interface or your sound card that you're using. And when it comes to sample rate, you want to keep it to 44 1100 uh, that's the CD quality you can keep it there if you have a much bigger and uh, much more powerful computer you can uh, use the higher ones but it's recommended that you use uh, 44.1 that's the most common one people use because that's CD quality so don't worry about the rest of the other ones you won't actually hear that much of a difference unless you have a really trained ear so on the buffer length over here now this switch you can uh, move it to the left slide it to the left a bit just to uh, get a shorter latency uh, that's measured in these milliseconds over here so if you move it too too far out to the left you're gonna see those un the underrun uh, number going up you're not gonna need that and your audio will start to also start uh, clipping and sounding funny and start cutting off and your meters won't um, start to look nice so it's always good to keep it um, on a safe value that so that you don't get the delays and the latencies and the priority of the CPU over here if you have a good uh, CPU if you're facing problems as well you can put it on high or put it on highest it uh, depends with uh, your CPU as well but you can also use that that will also give you much better performance now when it comes to these over here use po use polling they just say try this to improve performances and also use hardware buffer they also say try this but you can also click them on to get better performance and on 32-bit buffer if you're using 64-bit you can click this on so that you can also uh, use the 32-bit buffer it will also help in your performance as well on the playback tracking over here um, you can put it on mixer that will uh, help your playback also to be cool on multi-threaded generator processing you can click that on and you turn the multi-threaded mixer processing on as well and smart disable so it disables plugins when they're not being used they don't stay on so that they don't eat your ram and your cpu now on the mixer the resampling quality is this playback that you're going to hear as you're making your music now if you have a very powerful pc or mac since fl studio 20 is now on mac if you have a powerful computer you can put this as high as you want but if you have a normal computer you might want to keep it on six point hermite or maybe two point hermite you probably will not hear so much of a difference unless you have a trained ear and you can notice the little differences in audio when listening to the to the quality um, that you would have set up here so uh, basically this is the settings uh, on this page for audio but for the optimal settings I would recommend that you choose a SIO for all if you use SEO for all it will give you very uh, a good setting an automatic setting of your whole FL studio and this driver is installed automatically as you install um, FL studio so this is the best um, driver to use if you don't want that if you're going to be doing other things and it's not working for you then you can uh, choose a, a direct sound device over here but SEO is the best one to use it gives you low latency and it won't give you issues when it comes to um, inputting audio whether from a mic or for a guitar or for an external instrument it's always the best so I hope this helps you and helps others out there uh, remember to like and subscribe to the channel to get more content like this let me know in the comments how you set up your audio interface or your sound card so others can know how they can set up theirs uh, as always thanks for watching I'm X and I'm out